Good morning and welcome back to another video. We are here on the banks of the River Mersey today for Burnage Park Run. First time we've done this run, so quite looking forward to seeing what this course has to offer. Okay, and we're off. So Burnage Park Run, you start just by the river coming up in a minute. The path here is quite narrow and um, it's very difficult to pass, especially with a lot, um, I think there were 300 people running the race yesterday, close to 300, so with everyone being crowded together right at the start, as you can see from the footage, it's very tight and there's very little room to uh, manoeuvre. As you can see here, I'm trying to uh, pass these uh, two women in front of us, but there's just no room to currently get by them. And then finally we find a little bit of a gap and we can move forward. So the field's starting to spread out a little bit here, you can see there's a little bit of gap in front of us and we've got this woman uh, just walking. And then we come up to the next uh, group of people. Now the course here swings right, and uh, we go into an out of back section. An out and back section. Um, we're on the left hand side of the path, as you can see in the footage, or I should be able to see in the footage in a moment. Um, the faster runners are already making their way back towards the start finish line. Um, this pretty much means we're down to single file at this point. Now the turnaround point is marked by a couple of cones that you should see on the floor in a minute. Yeah, and this is the turnaround point just marked out by these cones. So we turn, and turn around now and head back down towards the river where we started. And uh, even now you can see it's starting to, uh, sp the field's starting to spread out a little bit, there's a lot more room and there's less people heading up to the um, turnaround point on the out little out and back section. There's the uh, tail walkers going past for the first time. So we now swing left back uh, towards the start finish line, back along the bank of the river. And uh, when we go past the start finish line, we now start two loops of the uh, course. So just on our left now we get the uh, little hill where the uh, finish line is uh, when you're coming through to finish the 
course you go up through that hill and then the uh, barcode scanners are up there. We're now heading towards the first little hill um, that we encounter. Just checking my watch. See what pace we are. I think at this point we're probably around a kilometre, um, maybe a kilometre and a half in. This is the first time um, we had to just take a little bit of a break, a little bit of a breather, check the watch, and now we're back to moving again. There's some corrosion there, or just on the riverbank, and that's why them barriers are there, um, just marking out. Um, a little bit of corrosion and now we hit this first hill uh, of the course. And we've got two marshals here, the first marshal uh, and then the second marshal and this um, Marks a turnaround point and also a change as we go from running on a quite paved path all the way up until now onto this uh, gravel track. Um, and this is heading towards uh, Burnage Rugby Club and back to where we came to back to where we came from. And we can see we're just catching this uh, little group of runners in front of us up. And uh, getting on back onto the end of this uh, little pack, what we've got going on uh, just here in front of us. Um, again, this section is... Uh, the path is uh, quite narrow and there's not really much um, passing points. And then we got this little bit of a hill here, um, just where that marshal is, and then we took kind of go down onto this uh, path between the rugby club on our left and uh, these industrial factories on our right. I'm starting to tire at this point a little bit, checking the watch more. What I'll be doing from now on is trying to run a few hundred meters and then stop um, on there. This is probably around about the two kilometer mark out of guess. As we pass the uh, car park and the marshals here. And now we're off into another little bit of a run. So now we're going to swing left down this uh, forest path and you can already see I think that's the first person overtaking there completing um, on their second lap where we've uh, only just uh, completed the first no not even completed the first one yet
looking to try and chase this woman down just in front of us and uh, free this uh, forest path. Then we get on to one of the more unique parkrun sections um, in the country as uh, coming up in a minute which we do twice is a set of uh, stairs that we have to either run up or walk up. Um, to be fair I think I just walked up both times. I'm really trying to run here and just get a few hundred meters um, closer to the finish line. And even now as we slow, these people rushing past now already they're probably about 12, 30 minutes in at this point already heading towards the finish of the race where well, I'm taking a little bit of a breather here just trying to lower my heart rate and now we're back to uh, now we're back to running So just here is this uh, step section that we mentioned um, and I try and go up it uh, a few times. You, there is a little bit of dirt at the side that potentially you could run up but it is quite steep if you want to do that. And then we make a left hand turn here and now we're back on the path where we did the out and back before heading down towards the river again and ready to start the second lap of the course. Now we do need to walk for a few minutes here. I'm really starting to feel it in my legs at this point. Um, trying to go quickly. But just that couple of minutes rest and then we're back to trying to take off another few hundred meters um, at a time. Essentially doing interval training um, as we're doing the park run. And here we are back on the riverbank, uh, a few more pa people passing us, just completing their full race. just had a little dog go past there as well. At this point I'm just taking a moment to film these faster runners coming in these are about the 22 23 minute finishes uh, for this park run which is way beyond me at this point little check of my watch there as we're about to start our second lap and you have this really quick guy blitzing into that finish line unfortunately for us we still have one more to go and uh, we're starting it now back towards the hill 
And you can see now the field is really spread out. I'm just trying to push at this point, catch up to this guy in the blue shirt, t-shirt in front of us. But, again we need to take a little bit of a breather here, and restore some energy. We got this 100 uh, park runner just overtaking us on the right and she gets a little bit of a gap as we come up to the start of the hill at uh, the main start of the hill but we um, get back to running at this point and we start to close that gap as she, sl as she has to slow and take a breather as well and we go past her and now I've got my eyes set on this um, blue t-shirt, park run t-shirt in front of us and trying to chase him down and uh, get this position and we really come up um, quite a few hundred meters and pull him back and now he's literally just ahead of us and we pull back on here as he takes the left hand turn onto the gravel path I follow and he gets um, a little bit in front and pulls away but my legs are still good at this point and we still have some energy in the legs and we start to chase him down through this gravel section and this is probably one kilometer I'd say to go to the finish from here as we pass the uh, blue shirt and then we can start seeing if we can catch up to the few people ahead of us. Another little check of the watch just to see how we're doing for time. And now we're back to running again. I know I'm not. Uh, I, I know I'm not fast enough to keep doing it um, all the way the 5k without taking the rest breaks. But it's all about just trying to tick off 100 meters, 200 meters out of the 1,000. Just try and go as long as you can as we're coming back towards the as we head back up towards the forest section here. And we are catching this uh, woman in front of us on the pack. Now for the last time we cross the car park and we head into the forest and back towards the stairs and the stairway through this little barrier here. Again trying to go through another, tick off another little bit of running, you know, edge into it, claw into it as much as we can until my legs basically refuse to go any further.
And it's just ahead of us now, you can see who we're about to pass in a minute, the uh, tail walkers. Still on their first lap, so they still have to go around this one more time as we're lapping them as we head towards the finish line of the uh, park run. Now we're probably about 30 minutes in by now. So we're on the final stretch basically. And we enter another little bit of running here as well, another running section. Tiny bit of recovery. And then straight at it again. So for the time, final time we're up the stairs making this left hand turn back towards the river probably six hundred meters or so to go at this point I'd guess Check of the watch. Now here we are, we've made that final turn, we're on the home straight now, just probably 300 metres at this point to go to the finish line. I am tired at this point, but we're still pushing, we're still trying to run, still trying to push through it and get some speed out of my legs. more glances at the watches at this point. I not had any food at this point as well, so he was running starved. I'm just wait waiting to get through to the finish line and um, have uh, some breakfast. But overall we completed the course yesterday in 36 and a half minutes. Um, my normal 5k time is around 34 and a half at the moment and that's at South Manchester which is pretty flat if I'm honest. Um, there's little to no hills, so coming to a hillier, more challenging course with different sections, I'm not disappointed with finishing at uh, 36 and a half minutes yesterday. And here we are, turning up onto the gravel, onto the hill, and that's the finish of Burnage Park Run. Well, we just completed Burnage Park Run, and I've got to say that was a uh... That was good fun, it was different from my normal park run, which is uh, South Manchester. Uh, South Manchester Platfields is pretty much flat all the way around. This one you have some tricky bits, you've got um, a few hills, a few rises, you've got the steps. So it was a, a different course, it was a good experience. Um, so, what's next um, after this? We've got a few more park run videos coming up, but the big one is in a few months time, in November. I'm going to be running my very first 10k. And we're currently training for that. We've entered uh, 
first little bit of training now, doing a few more runs in the week. And uh, yeah, I'm going to hopefully vlog most of my training for my 10k. And I hope you all stick around. If you've liked this video, if you've enjoyed the video, like it, share with your friends and subscribe. And bye for now.